Hi everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Uh, about five, six days ago I did a review um, from Fortnum and Mason. I think it was called the, uh, the Fortnum um, Pilsner. Um, I think at the time, uh, out on social media, I think I said it was tasty, but a little bit too posh maybe for me. Now Western Brewery down in Kent actually brew it and uh, sent me a link to their website saying um, some, something like paraphrasing up there, I can't remember saying uh, if that was too posh, try one of these. Uh, and they, like I said, they brewed the Fortnum Pilsner. Um, so I did have some. Uh, I did an unboxing video actually, um, which um, I put live yesterday to show you some of the beers um, that I got from them. But one of them is this one. So this is what the Fortnum one is based on. It might be an exact clone, I don't know. Um, so this is there. Uh, this is uh, Western Breweries at Pilsner. It's called a Bohemian Rhapsody. There you go. Comes at five percent ABV, so it's same as the uh, the Fortnum Pilsner. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, so Bohemian. This will be then therefore a Czech style Bohemian style uh, Pilsner. So we expect it to be. Let's crack it open. Let's get the glass, shall we? So we expect it to be um, maltier, therefore sweeter than traditional, traditional, I want to say traditional, uh, German Pilsners. And I'm expecting a bitterness on this, but perhaps um, a less bitter, less sharp bitterness. The, um, I'm going to pour that back in the bit, aren't I? The um, Czech Pilsners, and particularly the Bohemian Pilsners, are just a little bit more, a little bit sweeter. And, and like I say, just a little bit smoother, a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit gentler. So I have poured that, a bit like an idiot. Um, so that's poured a pale, I expect a little bit darker if I'm being like, uh, yeah, out of the light actually, it is, it is a bit darker. So it's uh, a good golden colour, crystal clear, absolutely crystal clear, fine carbonation, some really fine carbonation. I remember once hearing that um, the finer the carbonation, the better the beer. So, yeah, looking good. And a massive, because of my bad pouring, white head. Looks good. Let's get a sniff to shower. Oh, that smells nice. Bready malt. Does smell sweet, not too sweet though. And there is that mild hop aroma. A little bit grassy. Hint of spice. Tell you what though, it does smell quite rich. Looks good, smells good, tastes it, shall we? Uh, cheers, everybody. He's nodding, he's nodding, it's a good beer. That is nice. That is nice. Uh, yeah, you get that nice sweet. To be fair, it's it's not particularly complex. You get a nice sweet malt coming through. There's a lovely spicy note coming through uh, from the hops. A nice bit of um, nice bitterness coming through as well. It's not a harsh bitterness. It is. German Pilsners, I think, tend to come tend to be a bit harsh on the bitterness on the back end. This is smoother. No interest. It is smoother. It is quite soft. Now check. Um, Czech water is known for being a really soft water. You know, you can get like soft water and hard water and different waters are good for different different brew purposes. The soft water is brilliant for 
um, lighter beers, you know, your pale ales, your, your, your pills and your lagers, that sort of thing, your heavier, um, so harder waters are better for your, you know, your beers, your stouts, those sorts of things. So they won't have brought, it is a really soft beer lager pilsner. Uh, and I'm sure they haven't brought in beer from the Czech Republic. So I'd be interested to know if they do watch this video. Um, I don't know what it's like in Kent, um, but have you done anything to condition your water? I'd be interested to know. That is nice. The lovely aftertaste. It's crisp. It's hoppy. It is a really tasty pilsner. Now, when I was growing up, going out, you bought pills at the bar, and it was the usual suspects, and it was all right. This isn't like usual suspects. It's better. It's a tasty beer. That is a tasty beer. Um, and for life of me, I can't remember what the uh, Fort one uh, tasted like. For life of me, I can't remember I scored it. Um, it was nearly a week ago. I like that. I do like that. I am going to score that. I'm going to score eight and a half out of ten. That's eight and a half out of ten from Andy's Beer Reviews. Comment, like, subscribe, all that uh, good stuff. Uh, but more important, any of that, wherever you're drinking, please enjoy it until the next review. Cheers, everybody.